Some vacationers' idea of recreation means relaxation, pure and simple. Taking in the quiet moment and admiring nature at her best. There is such a corner of the world. Actually, it's an island in the middle of Bay Lake, transformed into a beautiful zoological garden. Discovery Island is a recreation of a tropical rainforest. Many species of birds have successfully raised offspring. One such resident is the beautiful scarlet ibis, whose numbers are actually increasing here in one of the world's largest walk-through aviaries. Another species in the family way is the beautiful American flamingo. Here, Discovery Island personnel have reconstructed a tidal pool, similar to that which the flamingo inhabits in the wild. These characters and several other bird, mammal, and reptile species thrive and prosper on Discovery Island. What's up guys? My name is Jake and welcome to a very special update video. I haven't made something like this in quite a while, but given the recent updates on one of my favorite and most popular abandoned locations, Disney's Discovery Island, I figured I should take a look at everything that has changed since I last talked about it. Recently there has been a ton of updates and something very very special that has just been released. Very few people know this even exists. So today, I'm here to bring it to light and walk you through it. On May 13th, 2017, for the first time ever, real post-abandonment footage from On the Island has been released on YouTube. Captured by Matthew Sanswa and Chris Carswell, this hour-long footage was filmed on the grounds of Disney's Discovery Island in May of 2017. This is a big deal. Prior to this, there has been only two documented explorations of the island. One from around 2004 by Shane Perez, and the other by Nomius in 2007. It has been 10 years since anyone has documented the island, and both Shane and Nomius had only taken very few pictures of the park. Disney's Discovery Island has been abandoned for over 18 years, and for the first time ever, HD footage from a Canon 70D has been released. So let's take a look at what Disney's Discovery Island now looks like, 18 years after it closed. So let's start off with the official map. To keep a point of reference throughout the video, I'm going to keep referring back to this. So we start on the island's service dock, and as you can see from this 2003 satellite photo, this area was mainly used as a service and back of house area. Inside one of the service buildings, still hanging on the wall, is a calendar from the year it closed, 1999. Moving forward through the back of house paths leads to what I believe is some sort of animal cage complex. It is crazy to see these cages and buildings just being consumed by foliage. Moving through these offices, while structurally the buildings may be intact, you can really see how spiders have taken over huge portions of these buildings. In one of the sheds, you can see where Shane Perez took the famous picture of the snake in the coke bottle. Matt comes across a whiteboard that still has visible writing. Literally things that had been written on it with an erasable marker 18 years later is still there. On the top, you can see where the guys who went in 2007 wrote their names. Out on the former guest pathways, we make our way to the former entrance area. This is where guests got off the ferry to the island and essentially acted as a hub. Now we're moving into the park and the first large building you can see is Thirsty Perch. With absolutely no human intervention, you can really see the toll nature has taken on these structures. Like its name suggests, this was a snack bar conveniently located in the hub of the island. As we make our way down the guest paths, deeper into the island, various small bird showcasing booths start appearing on the paths. Cutting essentially straight across the island, we find ourselves at the largest building in the park, the Discovery Island Headquarters Animal Hospital and Nursery. I think it's pretty incredible how the windows to multiple buildings are still intact after 18 years of hurricanes and storms battering them. This building's roof is one of the only things you can still see from the air on Discovery Island. Inside, just like in Fleurbex's famous pictures, the cooler is still filled with all sorts of stuff frozen in time. 
This was most likely a cold storage for animal medication and all sorts of other related items. The roof of the structure has clearly taken a beating, however the first few rooms are in pretty good condition. As you move deeper into the structure though, you can see that massive sections of the building have been torn apart, most likely by falling trees. Walking on the trail past the animal headquarters sits one of the main restroom structures. The Florida weather has just decimated the roof to this building, and the interior shows. Everything has been ripped up by the constant weather beating, causing the bathrooms to look like, well, this. Continuing down the guest pathways leads us to one of the most incredible parts of Disney's Discovery Island today, and that's the South American Aviary. Walking through the entrance of Avian Way brings us up this elevated pathway through what used to be a massive canopy enclosure. The pathway remains intact, and as you can see, most of the canopies do as well. Over the years, tons of branches, leaves, and other stuff has collected on the canopies, creating these huge spots of debris weighing them down. Many different trees have fallen onto the elevated pathways, yet impressively, they still remain structurally intact. Out of the aviary and walking down the winding trails, you can really see how destroyed everything is. Moving through the north end of the park, this would have been where North Creek Waterway would have been, obviously now drained and mostly filled with mud. If you see buildings and structures that you might recognize, feel free to let me know what these structures are in the comments. Wrapping it up back in the employee and service area section, you can see all sorts of stuff that is just left behind. Most likely items that were collected in one spot when the island was in its closing procedures. A huge pile of all different types of signs were just left in one place. There was a lot that I missed, so if you want to go watch the full one hour long raw footage, I will leave a link in the description to go view it. My last video on Disney's Discovery Island was in September of 2016, and towards the end of the video I mainly speculated on what might be happening to the island now. Now we can definitively say for sure that there is no work happening on the island. This was double confirmed by a cast member I talked to at Fort Wilderness in April of 2017. He stated that if any cast member is caught going to the island, they would be terminated on the spot. I even spoke to the general manager of Fort Wilderness, who told me that even he isn't allowed on Disney's Discovery Island. I think for so long there has been this sense of mystery as to what this place looks like now. Even from the last documented trip to the island in 2007, a huge amount of time has passed and for the first time ever we can actually see video from on the island. It's incredible to see these structures built for the park in the 70s and 80s slowly decay. Without human interference, the park is essentially frozen in time when the last guest stepped off the island in April of 1999. Now Florida's nature has taken its toll on the island and it's so incredible to see. It's a genuine look into a real life forgotten Disney park. If you're interested in learning more about Disney's Discovery Island, go watch the abandoned episode I did on it. That video's link can also be found in the description of this video. Anyway guys, my name is Jake, follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat, and thank you very much for watching. Take me anywhere. Does it seem now that every plan I had dreamed out was taken in full by this Girl Scout and pursued till the end? The math is not calculating, neither is she. There ain't no half baking. All of the people and the places they keep changing, she's still my friend.